Let's kind of rub again. This is for Derek, everybody! Good evening, everybody. Whoa, my voice is a little loud over here. Sorry about that. Pete, happy birthday. Even though it was yesterday, happy fucking birthday. Give a round of applause to Pete. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to tell shitty jokes and talk about how shitty our lives truly are. All right? Ludwig? Well, I'm not German, but I know how to say it. That's a good drum set brand, by the way. It's a good drum set brand. Um, I'm happy to be here on a Monday night. Start off the week on a bang. Right here with you guys makes me feel better about myself knowing that I'm not drinking alone like usual. I'm always at home drinking by myself, depressingly. You know, it sucks, but it's all good. Glad, glad to see your friend came late. Didn't fucking see her scent. That's a real friend right there. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. It wasn't funny. No, it was okay. It was alright. Don't worry. I'm not that good either. I was kidding, Daniel. But have you guys ever fucking met people that are overly optimistic and overly positive? Have you ever met people like that? It's, it's kind of annoying, right? And then the people you meet, they're just like, they say things along the lines of, you know, I judge people by the content of their character, and I don't judge people by their skin color or their culture. I say, bull fucking shit to that. I judge people by, every day, I just judge people. I know, all right? I judge them by its fucking cover, straight up. Because if I see some homie gangster choloed out, vato loco walking down, I'm not gonna automatically assume like, you know what, this guy right here looks like a, by golly, he's a cool guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking hang out with this guy today. Welcome. Right, does that make sense? You're Daniel's friend? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna walk by, by a pack of thugged out homie G's drinking 40s on the block and just automatically assume, like, oh, these guys must like shopping at Whole Foods and yoga, right? I'm gonna go mingle with these guys. No, that's not how it works. I judge a book by its fucking cover all the damn time. And you should do it too. Wanna to know why? Because it's the truth, right? It'll take you a lot further in life than uh, not, you know, we need more reality in this life. You know what I mean? Um, I quit smoking cigarettes about two and a half years ago. Does anybody smoke here cigarettes? No. Jen? Is that Jen? Sorry. Thanks, Jen. Honesty. See, we have honesty here. Hey, who? No, sorry, no, no, my name's Derek, okay, so check it out, I quit though two and a half years ago, even though it still sounds like I smoke, like my voice is all fucked up still, right, um, so the reason why is because I had a son, unfortunately, right, unfortunately I had a kid, but I was like, why do I want to quit smoking, one is because I want to be healthy for my baby boy, uh, Two, it's expensive. But I found out that having a kid is way more fucking expensive than a pack of cigarettes every once in a while. You know what I mean? So now, Daniel, I'm willing to get rid of my kid for a pack of fucking smokes. Yes. Yes. No, uh, I'm willing to give my kid up for a pack of cigarettes uh, tonight. Go to 7-Eleven. Hello, welcome to 7-Eleven. Sorry, Raj. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to go with this. Welcome to 7-Eleven, and I'll be like, hey, can I get a pack of Marble Reds, please? That'll be 10.95. And then I, all right, pick up my kid. There you go, buddy. There's my son. He's like, what the fuck is this? Okay, you got the deal. Thank you, give him my pack of fucking smoke. God damn it. Pete, happy birthday, where the fuck are you? Oh, there you are. Happy birthday, Pete. Yes. Thank you for giving us this opportunity, man. Hell y'all. Welcome. Yeah, guys, um, I suggest not having a child. Thanks for the kiss. Don't do it. It's a financial mistake. It's a spiritual mistake. And it takes all your time and freedom away. You know what I'm saying? It fucking sucks. This little kid, if he wants to play this Fortnite bullshit, I'm going to kick his little fucking ass. 
I swear to God. Like, Daddy, can I play Fortnite? No, shut the fuck up. Good night. Go to sleep. God damn it, little punk pain in my ass. God damn it. I know you hear me in the back there, people. Yeah, over there me. Oh, Tyler. What's up, buddy? Yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it, man. I don't want to talk about this bullshit no more, man. Fucking crazy shit. All right, Pete, let's give it up for this fucking next comedian over here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, my crying for Derek. Everybody keep going for Derek.